In Adobe XD, there are many different types of apps you can create, and I want to point out this tutorial that you can access from the start screen, but I'm going to be creating a simple multi-screen app for iPhone. So I'm selecting that option. XD opens with an artboard of that size, and we can double click the artboard title to rename that artboard to Splash. Now, since this artboard's selected, I can see the properties for the selected item on the right, and I can change the fill color, for instance, to a nice blue in this case. Now, when it comes to creating, we can use any of the tools on the left. Now, I'm going to create an app uh, that's all about exploring, so I need to create a map icon. So I'm going to start with a simple ellipse, and if I hold on the shift key, I can constrain it to be a perfect circle, which is what I want. And I can use a selection tool to move it into place. And actually what I get is I get these guides here so I can center it vertically. Also, when we're navigating around the artboard, we can zoom in and out using the zoom tool or use the shortcuts shown in the view menu. That's command plus and minus to do zoom in and out or control on windows. And then holding down the space bar will allow you to pan around the artboard. Because what I need to do now is I want to edit graphics and to edit any graphic really in XD is you can just double click on it. Now notice how I have access to all the BZA points to modify or I can just double click on it to make it a sharp point. I can also reposition it anywhere as well. And I want to punch a hole in the shape uh, by really creating another circle on top. Holding down the option key will draw from the center. Now I'm going to select both and then just select subtract. Next, I want to use the text tool to add some text. I'm just going to type in the word explore for our app. And notice you can change the font size directly on the text object using this control point right here. I can make it larger or smaller. I can get more exact with the property inspector where I can center align it, maybe change the fill color here. And then of course, change the font itself to something I like. We can also add imagery created elsewhere by importing it from the file menu, or you can just go to your desktop and drag in an image like I'm doing right now. Notice the colors don't quite match. Not to worry, I can change that fill color by using the color picker, and I'm gonna save this color for later by clicking the plus sign. Next, let's create another artboard that's gonna be our screen of places for the user to explore. So we'd use the artboard tool to create an artboard using the presets and the properties inspector, or you could just click. I can change the name of this new artboard and make sure I pick that saved color from earlier. Now, rather than creating a list from scratch, we can speed up our design process by opening up a wireframe UI kit. If you've downloaded the UI kit already, you can skip this step. Otherwise, you can find the UI kit under the file menu. And notice all of the artboards and elements that are available. So if I need an icon, I can just copy it and then paste it in. I also need a search screen of elements to list out these places so I can copy some of these elements. I'm just doing a click and drag to select these items and then paste them into my design. Lastly, we can add an entire artboard just by locating one we want, selecting the artboard title and copying it and pasting it into our design. From there, we can make our necessary changes like changing some text. Now what this element here is the very powerful repeat grid. So if I double click on this repeat grid, I can select these individual elements. I can move this text. You can see how it's all tied together. So as I resize this text and change the color, it changes all of them, but the text per element can be different. So I can change this text to something else like Tokyo Tower. And not only that, I can drop in maybe some images for this repeat grid, dropping them in here from my desktop. And you can see that this is looking pretty good. I'll just change the transparency a little. And notice I can display as many or a few of these images as I want, either by adding more rows or even more columns if I want to. And you can turn virtually anything into a repeat grid, like this star, I can make this part of our ratings system by just bringing it in here and then selecting repeat grid and then adjusting the spacing between each star. And as we build out more screens, we can consider using assets to make changes easy. So from this assets panel, I can actually select all of the artboards and then I can click this plus sign to add colors. And if I want to change a color, all I need to do is edit it to something more like a hot pink. 
and it will change across all the screens. Now you can create designs for mobile web kiosks and really any screen you want to design all with Adobe XD. In the next video, you'll see how to turn these designs into a prototype of your experience.